Hey, good morning guys. Guess what? Sun's out on the last day in Carnarvon Gorge. Here we spent three nights here. It's been miserable, overcast and cloudy, rainy. Um, but today we've woken up to sunshine and we're leaving. Oh my God. But look at this beautiful view. We hope you enjoyed our um, last week's video on Carnarvon Gorge here. And if you do come, I really hope you get beautiful weather like today. Um, what did you think of Carnarvon Gorge? Yeah, no, it was good. You'd probably only want to spend two, three days maximum here. I think you'd see everything, um, especially if you're fairly fit. You do a lot of those walks in the one day. Um, and there's a, I think there's a couple of walks where you can overnight and go like oh, even six or seven nights right up and around the full national park area. But it is a beautiful place. But yeah, we hope you get sunny weather when you guys come and, and visit it. Anyway, um, we're heading off to Emerald today. Um, stopping at a free camp up there. So we'll show you around when we get there. And we'll uh, chat soon. Okay, so uh, this was a uh, C47 Bravo Dakota. All right, it was flying from Darwin to Brisbane back in 1947. And uh, there was a violent electrical storm that happened and this plane crashed, killed all the people on there. There was Australian people and American. So uh, there's quite a few people on there. It doesn't say 1943, not 47. So seven Royal Australian Air Force personnel seven Australian Army and looks like five United States Army Air Corps people. All the Australians were buried in the Rockhampton Cemetery. So this memorial was erected by members of the Roma Boy Scouts group and the Roma Injun RSL. It's pretty cool. It's just at the entrance to Carnarvon um, Gorge National Park. So be sure to stop and have a look when you're passing. There's an American star on the ground with the rocks. Yeah. Last night we uh, stopped at a place called Red Bank Park, which is at Jericho. It's a little town between Bacaldon and uh, Emerald. Anyway, it was a beautiful little stopover. <coughs> beautiful little river down there with some swing ropes. Good clean toilets. <coughs> and a fairly big area. We just pulled up over here. They also have bins and taps so that you can actually fill up your van. There's a tap just there and there's a, another two taps just over there. There's some people in the background. What, there's one, two, three, four, five other campers here. And it's a donation. So there's a little donation box just over the back here and you just put some coins in there it's $8 a night, but um, great little stopover. Highly recommend it if coming through this way. And there is a blackwater pit or a dump point at the showgrounds. You know, guys, uh, great little spot, as I said. Donation and, uh, yeah, help the community out. So we're just coming into Barcaldon. And this is where the tree of knowledge is. Now the tree of knowledge was, uh, I think it was the Labor Party, where they signed the thing out. Um, we'll probably pull up there anyway, and um, I'll tell you the exact story. There's the uh, dead center of Bacaldon. People are dying to get in there. End of the Capricorn Way. Oh, look at the big cock up there. Bit random. It's funny the things you see in the outback. So, guys, we've um, arrived here in Bacaldon. Just having a look at the old courthouse here. And it is on the Heritage Trail, the courthouse, built in 1908. The site is also occupied by the Police Mounted Infantry Corps during the 1891 Shearer's Strike. So, there you have it. The Calden Courthouse. So here we are in the main street of Bacaldon. 
Tropic of Capricorn. Makambara, Aramak, Jericho, Alpha, and Bakul. That's one of those big ones that was out of that place we see in South Australia. Yeah, Penong or something. Yeah. So Bakulden is famous for its best tasting water which comes from the Hutton Aquifer in the Great Artesian Basin. The water is pure and untreated and goes directly from the basin into the town supply system. So here you go guys, this is how you say it. We were saying Bacalden, pronounced Bacalden, Bacalden. Was named after Bacalden Castle in Argyll, Scotland by the Cameron family. Some fantastic art. That is amazing. This sculpture depicts a shearer pledging his allegiance to the fight for justice during the shearer's strike. These memorial shearer, shearer stands and plaques are donated by the Australian Workers' Union to commemorate the 125th anniversary of the Great Shearer's Strike in 1891. So make sure when you're coming through Bacalden, come and check out the Tree of Knowledge and the uh, memorial here for the Great Shearer's Strike. The old pubs across the road there. You've got the Shakespeare Hotel. You've got this old Artesian Hotel. Don't know whether it's getting renovated or demolished. Then you got the railway hotel next to that. And then I think further down there's another pub as well. So you've got about four pubs in Bacalden. So this is the Tree of Knowledge. The Tree of Knowledge Memorial. The Tree of Knowledge was a eucalyptus ghost gum that stood on this site until its death in 2006. So during the, nine, the 1891 Shearer's strike, the tree was the silent witness to the monumentous struggle between shearers and pastoralists over wages and working conditions. So come on through Bacalden and have a look at this amazing sculpture here. How cool is all of that? Amazing. Look at the train station. Is there a train due? Yeah. Where's it going? Brisbane. Brisbane. <laughs> Next train all stops to Brisbane. Apparently it takes 23 hours from Bacalden to Brisbane on the train. Just a handy tip for you in case you want to get the train out here. Here we go. It was under the Tree of Knowledge next to the railway station that an organisation was formed in 1891 that later became the Australian Labor Party. That's what Dave was saying. Beautiful park area here. But anyway, we are on our way heading towards Longreach. Lots of information here too about the Shearer's Strike, about the Tree of Knowledge, about the history of the Calden. So when you're in town, stop in and have a read. So here comes the passenger train coming into Bacalden um, from Longreach and it's heading towards Brisbane. So here we are guys at the Wellshot Hotel in Il Ilfracombe. Nice so guys this is the main street of Ilfracombe. There we have the pub, windmill over there. Old machinery over there. There's a dump point down here as well. And also next door there's a bit of a caravan park. So while we're in Ifrico, we've just stopped 
um, up the road a little bit further on at the um, Ifracombe Pool and Artesian Spa. So it's open from 3.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Monday to Friday and then 12.30, 6.30 Saturday and so on. Now it is $2 entry fee. Now looking through the fence, that's the spa. So it's only very, very tiny. So you wouldn't want to be here in busy periods. And that's the main swimming pool here in town. But yeah, you can see the water coming up from the ball and that's probably the artesian water you see. So near the Ilfracombe Spa, I found something pretty random. It's a Cowboys football player made out of bits and pieces. It's pretty cool. Ah, oh, Matt Scott is an Australian former professional rugby league footballer. Okay, so Matty Scott's uh, from here. So he played for Australia from 2010 to 2016, 22 games for Australia. He played one game for the NRL All-Stars. He played 22 games for Queensland. So Matty Scott's from out here. Cool for Cone. And there you have it. It's pretty cool. It's very beautiful. It's a, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. It's like a little atrium, not atrium, a little... I suppose they do memorials and they do stuff here. But uh, that's to remember the people from Ulfacombe who gave their life serving the Defence Force. And across the road, as Wells may have said, the whole length of the town is old machinery. It goes all the way through town, right down to the far end. Romani Hall Memorial, home of the 2nd 14th Ilfracombe Light Horse Troop. Ilfracombe Folk Museum consists of buildings, vehicles, machinery and memorabilia from the town's early days. Let's have a quick squeeze. Hampton Cottage, craft souvenirs and free entry. So guys that was uh, Ilfracombe and uh, it's 27 kilometres east of uh, Longreach. Fair bit of history in the town, there's a lot to see and do. You could probably spend a night there and spend the night at the Well Shot Inn and um, have a good look around. A lot to uh, read, those artesian bars would have been great to sit in however they're not open until later on today. But we'll head on to Longreach now and we'll uh, take you with us. So guys, we've come all the way through to Longreach Apex Park. Riverside Bush Camp, it is a donation camp. It's $5 per vehicle um, per night or $27 per vehicle for seven nights. A lot of chooks and roosters hanging around. So you've got your little, um, little slips here to put your information on and then you drop your money in the box. Yeah, it's a nice big area here on the river. A few campers set up. This is us. A few other campers down there. There's some public toilets, there's bins everywhere and there's a big shaded area down there as well. Go for a walk soon and have a look. We've got our solar blanket out, just punching in some power at the moment. It's a beautiful sunny day. 
so lots of bins here at the park it's a toilet block beautiful grassy area looks like undercover camp kitchen barbecue area check out the toilets typical drop dunny nice and clean yeah so nice clean amenities Some seats down here to enjoy the river. It's quite nice. What a great area. Chicken. Yeah, it's a nice big area here. Nice and cool, nice breeze. Picnic tables, gas barbecues, nice and clean. Look at that. So there you have it, Apex Park, Longreach. So uh, today we're getting on a bus and we're heading out to a river cruise. Drover's Sunset Cruise and Outback Dinner and Show at Smithies. Yeah, so I'll bring you along and show you what it's all about. We booked it through um, Aussie Tours. Aussie Tours. Bus is here, guys. Here comes the bus right now. Picks you up at the, um, at the Apex Park here, Riverside. Bye. So, Outback Aussie Tours, Long Reach, Whitman, Birdsville. There you go. So this will be our bus to the uh, River Cruise. So we've got off here at Smithies. Looks squawky, but it isn't any crocs. You never know. They're heading south. No crocs here, mate. No, I won't say no. You. Why, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hello, hello. Don't know whether you guys can see, but there's a couple of little turtles down there. We're here on the, um, what is it? The Drover's Sunset Cruise and heading to Smithies for dinner straight after. But look who we've got with us. We've got the Heinzes. Some days you actually have to stop and let them go past on Hi, <laughs> see the bark of the tree, but you see the dead bit in the middle, that's actually the heart of the tree. Never settle down too far away from my hometown. With my family, I am bound. Stick by them till I'm in the ground. Can you say turtles? I said, where's the turtles? All of the stories have been told. Secret places hidden well. I go now as far as I can tell. So we finished the river cruise part of the tour and now we're coming back into Smithies and we're going to have some beautiful dinner. There's going to be an alternate drop of um, a lamb, slow cooked lamb and some barramundi and then a choice of a passion fruit baked cheesecake or a Jaffa brownie. So it sounds good. Thank you guys. See ya. Thanks Thank for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure we get that. Yeah, it's good. Um, so when you come through here, <laughs> this is the entertainer Corinne. <laughs> And then we've got the Chef Lou over there. Yep. Hey Lou, how are you? Hello. <laughs> Where's she from? <laughs> Want to take the next thing? The bar's just there. Yeah. And then just around the corner of the bathroom. Awesome. So you mm -hmm. like to come down here. It's our beautiful table. Now, hey guys, we're here at Smithy's and I have Corinne. Um, how are you Corinne? Oh, thank you. Um, how long have you worked here for? Um, I'm going on seven years. Seven um, years? Smithy's as an entertainer, yes. And what what can a person expect out of a night at Smithies? Look, um, every night is potentially different. Um, you'll find a lot of us entertainers, uh, we can have up to sometimes seven 
different entertainers that grace our little river stage, we like to call it here at Smithies on the Jobson River. Um, yeah, so pretty much all of us entertainers bring something different um, to the show. We all have our um, little, different little quirks and things that we like to keep things fresh and entertaining for everyone. But um, everyone, every night's different because we kind of try and play as much to the crowd as possible. Um, okay. Although you'll find that you'll still get some consistency, certain things continue each night, so we still um, have that kind of flow as well. Right. Oh, now when you say entertainers, so are you a muso, comedian, do you tell a story, like what What do you mean, oh, I'm flying by the seat of my pants yeah, here, yeah. so I've got no idea what I'm in for uh, So all of our entertainment here at Smithies is a musical element, uh, but from that you'll also find all of the entertainers, some of them might try and uh, crack a joke, whether or not it's funny or not, is up to, up to the audience, <laughs> yeah. but um, you know, we all try and um, do that as well, some of us will share, it'll be everything from covers to original music, uh, from all of the entertainers, there's you'll find them also telling a few stories about potentially their lives um, as part of their storytelling through their own music and stuff as well. Yep. Yeah. So, are you a born and bred girl from out here at I Longreach? Am. Yes, I'm a born and bred local Longreach girl. I've left many a times, but um, something keeps bringing me back here. And yeah. I've been back for a while now and uh, no plan of leaving just yet. What got you into the uh, entertainment sort of a thing? Like, why aren't you out on a farm with cattle or something <laughs> like that? Like, how did you get um, into entertainment? You'll have, you'll have to stay tuned for that for a little bit later tonight. Right. But, um, no, look, I, I, I'm a little town kid, but my parents had a trucking company. I come from an incredibly um, talented musical family. Oh, nice. So, uh, my mum first threw me on stage about 13 years of age. Um, it was just an excuse pretty much to go and visit family. Yep. So that's how I kind of found my way onto stage. But um, previously I've just been a pub singer, playing gigs, weddings, events and stuff like that. So coming to Smithies here has given me a whole, whole new platform um, to explore my own musical side and to share some of my own stuff and writing. Now, just one last quick one, the meal, all right? There's barramundi, <laughs> which is good, on, it? barramundi, which <laughs> is on the uh, barbecue right here. And I believe there's lamb. There so is a hot dog that we've over all on our coals and stuff here this evening mm. as well. Uh, Lou's been hard at it, slaving over the hot coals all day, preparing um, the meats and the veggies and stuff are all done on there as well. Okay. Um, your billy tea is falling away over there, ready for a little bit later this evening, and you would have uh, potentially saw the damper. The damper, on the yes, yes. yes. So uh, that's on offer a little bit later as well. Now you're saying, so how long does it take to prepare this food? Like you're saying on the on the cook all day sort of thing. Um, like roughly how long? Pretty much. Yeah. I, I'm no chef. That's why I'm on the entertaining stage. <laughs> yeah. um, when I come out here and set up and do my little bit, Lou is well and truly um, coming down to the end of things with everything slow cooking all day. But yes, it's all slow cooked over the coals. So it takes a good while. Um, right. And she is out here for a good chunk of the day preparing everything for everyone. And is it three nights a week, four nights? I know it's Monday. Um, so pretty much at the moment we're currently in what we call a shoulder season. Yep, so yep. you'll find roughly um, April and October uh, our shoulder season. So we tend to, uh, we're not operating every night, uh, but when we get into peak season uh, we can be operating seven nights a week even. And highly recommend people to book before uh, coming out? We do. Of... Um, just, I mean, it's just so unexpected sometimes with the travellers and you never know when you're going to get that influx. So, mm. you know, um, you get hopefully guaranteed to not miss out. Um, you know, you're not disappointed. But, you know, we've, we've got so many packages now. You can come on the river, you can come on the train and package that with the show. Um, or you can come and do just the show. So Is there an actual train that comes out here? Uh, so we have a little, it's uh, like a Savannah Lander. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, so yeah. It's a little old... Uh, Silver Bullet, I'll call it. Um, so there's two of those carriages that now run and do um, experience as part of, uh, it's called the Outback Rail Motor I think, experience from memory. So, okay. Yeah, so All that's right. available. So there's plenty of things to see and do. And um, I see you've got a Wallstock bar over there, which is do. a good thing. Yes, we can't operate without that. Um, it's definitely a popular little um, place throughout um, the evening. Yes. No worries. All right. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure to meet you, Karina. Look out, and, I might uh, pick on you pair a little bit later. Give me audience. What do you reckon? No worries. <laughs> All right. Have a good one anyway. Yes.
fit your plans But does the barnyard shovel fit yours? If your eyes are on me You're looking at me Oh, if your eyes are on me Here we have barramundi And slow cooked lamb Rosalind, Rachel, Carrie, Charlene I'm begging all you please don't take my man <laughs> Rosalind, Carrie, Rachel, Charlene Please don't take him just because you can You can have him your beauty is beyond compare But a fly tattoo in purple hair With gold nose ring and eyes A fair of green The way you throw those spirits back Your breath is like the smell of Jack And I cannot compete with you, Rachel He talks about you in his sleep There's nothing I can do to keep from crying when he calls your name, Carrie, Carrie, love, just bring us a beer from the back fridge, will ya? <laughs> and I can say it ain't no joke how easy you could take my blow, but you don't know what he means to me, Rosalind. <laughs> Rosalind, Charlene, Rachel, Carrie, I'm begging all of you, please don't take my man. Rosalind's already said she doesn't want it. Charlene, <laughs> Carrie, Rosalind, Rachel Please don't take him just because you care Now you could have most any fella But your double D's he thinks are stellar But he's the only one for me, Carrie And I had to have this yarn of you my happiness depends on you, whatever you decide to do, ladies. Now I'm with Rosalind. I don't think the man is worth this much trouble. <laughs> Rosalind, <laughs> Harry, Rachel, Charlene. I'm begging of you, please take my name. You can have it. <laughs> Harry, Rachel, Rosalind, Charlene. I hope you take it. I hope you can. All right, Rosalind's out. Rachel's not too sure. She's not wanting the man either. She's got distraction. She's getting running away. What about you, Kerry? You want the man? One's enough, apparently. Charlene changed her mind too. She doesn't want him after all, so we're going to give him to Jolene. What do you reckon? Jolene. Oh, folks, let's give her Rosalind. Kerry, round of applause. Such good sports. What do you reckon? Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks for coming out, eh? Cheers. So that was our night at the Apex Park, just outside of Longreach. We uh, went to Smithy's. We did the uh, boat tour. Yeah, it was called the Drover Drover Sunset Tour with dinner and show at Smithy's. And uh, the food was quite good. The music, yeah, it was very, very country, very American sort of country. Um, but as they do, they change it, and yeah, in the country, I suppose. It was good though. It was good. it was a really nice night. Yeah, she was a lovely lady, the singer Corinne. Um, very talented, um, and especially yeah, if you love your country music, get along to that because it was very country orientated. Um, yeah, great little atmosphere. Wasn't overcrowded. Um, as I said, beautiful food. All the alcohol and drinks you could think of, obviously you had to pay for them. Mm -hmm. The dessert was divine. And um, the park where we just stayed for the $5 a night, that was excellent. And there was taps all around the place mm -hmm. so that you could get your own potable water. We're uh, going to hit the road now and go to Winton. We're going to go to the uh, Walsing Matilda Museum. Yeah. So uh, it was good to catch up with our friends, Jared and Rach and Ethan and uh, Ryder. I inquire their dog. <laughs> we haven't seen them since Western Australia and they're on their way back to uh, Gold Coast to sell their property and then they're going to hit the road again. But yeah, we'll take you along for the journey and beautiful day. 
It was very quiet last night except for the chickens and the roosters. Mm, a, lot of, a lot of free range chickens and roosters running around Apex Park, but it's a great little park. Um, and we hope you enjoyed this little video, um, you know, coming, where did we come from? Um, we came from Can Jericho. Carnarvon. From Carnarvon through to Jericho, through to Longreach. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you've got any questions or comments or whatever, hit us up. Hit us up. Dave's playing with his train horn. <laughs> but yeah, hit us up if you've got any questions or anything. Um, anyway, we'll um, talk soon. Bye. It's that time again. Joke time with Dave. Well, it's not actually a joke. A bit of a statement. This morning, Roz caught me standing on the scales, sucking my stomach in, and she sung out, "That's not going to help." I said, "Yes, it is. It's the only way I can see the numbers." <laughs> Catches. <laughs>